Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. This isn't the first time Travis Scott, whose real name is Jacques Berman Webster, has been in trouble with the law. He has faced several civil suits as a result of the deaths of individuals at his 2021 Astroworld event. Then, a few weeks ago, he was allegedly involved in a fight with fellow rapper Tyga. The pair are both exes of Kylie Jenner. Apparently, Travis and Tyga were at a party in Cannes when they ran into each other. Words were exchanged, and it led to an all-out brawl. Now, his most recent actions in Miami have led to his arrest. As mentioned above, he was arrested and placed in custody for disorderly intoxication and trespassing. Travis Scott was then held at Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center and was still there at 4.35 a.m. local time, according to court reports. The arrest was made because Travis was allegedly causing a disturbance on a boat at the Miami Beach Marina. Miami Police Department officers said he was drunk, causing a disturbance, and asked to leave multiple times. Miami police were alerted to the incident because they received a call reporting that people were fighting on a charter boat in the marina. Officers who responded to the scene could sense a strong smell of alcohol coming from the defendant's breath. They apparently tried to lead him down the dock and Travis Scott walked backward, yelling obscenities the whole way. Police escorted him to a car that was waiting for him at the end of the dock and warned him not to return to the boat. Travis Scott fined for trespassing and more. Although he received the warnings from officers, Travis Scott soon got out of the vehicle and headed back towards the boat, which led him to be taken into custody. When asked if he was under the influence of drugs or alcohol, Scott admitted to drinking. He simply stated, It's Miami. According to reports, he was charged $500 for trespassing, $150 for disorderly intoxication, and was released on a $650 bond. Of course, that seems like pennies to someone with an $80 million net worth. The Miami-Dade Corrections Facility shared Travis mugshot. He was wearing a black and gray jacket, looking rather down on his luck. Travis' representative has yet to make a statement regarding his arrest. 